box that comes in there, the probe is in there, this has got the power cord, the gel and whatnot. This has got the cup thing here as well for the probe and the cup thing goes attaches just on the back through here. It's got these little feet that you can see and they just slide in to those feet like that. So that kind of probe attachment, so just make sure that that little lever is kind of pointing upwards, tail's pointing outwards, goes into the hole, should just slide in there like that, and you just turn the knob and then it's secured in. To get rid of it, to disconnect it, flip the switch upwards and then remove it. So just turn the <coughs> RTU on. This little knob here does the focus position and the frequency. And you can just rotate the button to change the focus position once it's highlighted. And you'll see that happening here. Just changes the focus position. Once clicking down on that button, it'll change the frequency, which changes the frequency here. You can see going from 6 right down to 2 megahertz. So that's that knob. And that's really just to try and aim to get a better picture. Obviously the focus position, whatever you're trying to image, you focus the position in line with that. Just to go through the different screens, this is a single screen, which we currently are on. To go to a dual screen, press dual, and you'll see you get up two screens. That's the moving one on the right hand side. If you press dual again, the other screen will now start moving and the first one is frozen. And you can quickly just switch between the two by pressing the dual button. You can then do the same thing with the quad, which is this one. Obviously this one brings up four screens. And you can just keep flicking through to find out the live screen if that's what you need to do. To get it back to a single screen, just press the B screen there. We're back at the beginning. Obviously all your general settings are just just with these settings typically therapists have the settings in that type of configuration. I don't know why but that's what they generally like but from there on in they can adjust them as they need to to get the right image for them. To adjust the gain, we use the gain touch here. And you can just rotate left and right, and you'll just see it makes it more white or less white. So really this button, these buttons, will generally adjust just the contrast and the gain of the image to adjust it to the user preference. This knob here does either depth or zoom. Press the button to switch between depth or zoom. And once you're on depth, you can adjust that to go deeper or to go shallower. And obviously zoom is just to zoom in. And it'll zoom in on the special spot. Okay, to exit it. Just press the depth button again. If you wanted to freeze, you just press the freeze button and that freezes the screen and then you can do your measurements if that's what you need to do. To unfreeze it, you just press freeze again and we're back to the live screen. So coming back to the freeze function, we can measure an image and then when you press freeze, then using the track wall, you can go back through the recording that you're seeing. You can just see it happening here. So that's just going through the last few frames. 
so you can show patients if you needed to specific contractions by using the trackball and sliding the frames along. To get out of the frozen picture, just press freeze again and we're back to the live image. Right, so the next thing is the caliper button, which is this one here. Press caliper and you'll get the caliper. You move around with the trackball and then you use the set button to set it. Uh, once you want to measure something, let's just say you want to measure that bit there, press set and then drag it, set again, and that will give you the distance measured. To escape that, just press back and we clear. If you wanted to measure, so this has the live measurement function, so you'll see the screen is live there. To measure live, press caliper, get them to contract, you'll see the screen is still live, set and that's the measurement and the screen is still live. Particularly useful for pelvic floor contractions and the rise and fall of pelvic floor. To measure volumes, you again press the caliper button and that brings up this menu there and you go over and you highlight the volume and now you'll see it says measure distance one so you use your trackball set so that will be your first distance then you need a second distance here to there and then you need a third distance which will allow you to get your volume and then the volume is displayed down here in cubic centimetres. Obviously the way that you measure the volume is something that they need to be taught and you need to know the specifics.